Hello and welcome back to English for You. I'm Seb and I'm Mike, and we are talking about the greatest Muhammad Ali. Okay, not the greatest Muhammad Ali. No, there was only one. Right, only yes. one great one. Yeah,、mm-hmm. absolutely. But he was the greatest. But he was the greatest at、mm-hmm. boxing. That's right. We discovered, which is a sport in which we hit people with our fists.、Mm-hmm. We don't hit them straight with our fists, though, do we? We wear a special piece of equipment, don't yes, we? Yes, boxing. boxing. Gloves. That's right.、Exactly. Boxing gloves. Muhammad Ali was a world、mm. champion, an Olympic champion,、mm. in 1960, and then a world champion through much of the 1960s and 1970s. He was, and he often was. considered one of the greatest boxers. Certainly one of the greatest boxers, and possibly greatest athletes. Of all time,、mm-hmm. yes, and so he didn't really disappear after he changed his name, converted to Islam, and became world champion. You would think、right. that that would be your peak, right? When you do all these things and、yeah. you're you're the the toast of the day. I don't know if that's the right expression, but you know the、um, mm-hmm. the person that everybody is talking about all the time, right? But you know, he went on to do many other great things. I think that we can say. To some extent, he was a little more controversial later on to some people in、mm-hmm. U.S. society because he became more of an activist. What is an activist? Well, it's somebody who tries to create change in society by challenging some things which people take as normal, probably things they think are very wrong、mm-hmm. or unfair. Muhammad Ali was trying to change some very bad things, actually. So we can't really say that he was a bad political political figure. He was a very good person, but he definitely became more political later on. Absolutely. So let's look at the later half of his life. Reading. The greatest. The story of Muhammad Ali. Ali's greatest fight didn't happen in the ring at all. In 1967, he was called to join the army and fight in the Vietnam War, but Ali refused and said that killing others went against his beliefs. It was against the law to refuse to join the army. So Ali's boxing license was taken away. He couldn't box for three years, but he did speak out against the war across the U.S. Many people supported Ali's decision, and he became a hero of the anti-war and civil rights movements. In 1970, Ali was allowed to box again, and soon proved he was still the greatest. He won historic fights like the Rumble in the Jungle against George Foreman and the Thrilla in Manila against Joe Frazier, but Ali took so many punches that his health suffered, and he had to stop boxing in 1981. He learned in 1984 that he had Parkinson's disease. In his later life, Ali focused on helping others. He gave millions of U.S. dollars. To organizations fighting hunger and disease, Ali passed away in 2016, but he's still called the greatest because of his amazing life and career. All right, so let's jump into day two of our article, "The Greatest: The Story of Muhammad Ali." So we already learned that Muhammad Ali was a world,、uh, an Olympic champion in、mm. boxing, and then became the world champion by beating Sonny Liston. So he really didn't have much more to、uh, to prove in his boxing career. But as we begin the article, we kind of see a shift in his life and his focus, and in what he was famous for. It says Ali's、mm. greatest fight didn't happen in the ring. At all, interesting. No, it you, didn't. That's kind of surprising, right? You would think that his greatest fight was against his toughest rival,、Sonny、the、Liston. the toughest boxer、mm-hmm. of the time in the boxing ring. That's what we call it—that area where the、mm-hmm. boxers stand and fight. You might say, "Wait a minute, that's not a ring; it's a square." And you're、mm-hmm. absolutely right. It is a square.、Yes. It's not a ring. It's not round in shape. But here's the important thing: it used to be back in the old days when boxing. Was less organized. People would just 
stand around the boxers, and you know when people are standing around someone doing something, they often form a ring, a, a circle ring.、Mm-hmm. around that person. So when they changed it to a square, when boxing got more organized, the name stuck. So we still call it the boxing ring. But his、mm-hmm. greatest fight, we learned there, didn't happen in the ring. So it wasn't in the world of boxing. It、no. wasn't a boxing match that we would call his greatest fight. Now we're using fight here in a slightly different way.、Mm-hmm. Let's learn more. Let's read more to learn more. Right. Yes.、It's, a fight can actually be a kind of struggle. Can't right. It? Yeah. It can be something, you know, fighting against something. Maybe somebody trying to force you to do something. Fighting for your And, rights. Exactly. You're not actually hitting people, or there's no、mm-hmm. war going on. It means there's a political struggle. People are arguing and、mm-hmm. trying to change people's minds and stuff like that. That was the kind of fight that proved to be his greatest.、Yes. And we learned that in 1967, something very important happened to him. Right. Yes, something very important did happen in 1967. He was called to join the army and fight in the Vietnam War.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so when we call someone, you probably know "call" as "I'm called Seb" or you know, calling someone on the phone. Right. When we call someone to do something, though, we're Telling them to do it or asking them to do it.、Right. In this case, Muhammad Ali was being told he had to go fight in a war, and not just any war, the Vietnam War, which、That's、was a、right. very violent, bloody war that happened in the 1960s and 1970s.、Mm-hmm. So, what did Muhammad Ali do? Well, it was a war that a lot of young people in America didn't want to go and fight in. They didn't、mm-hmm. have, you know, have any problem with the people in Vietnam. They, it says, but、mm-hmm. Ma- Ali refused. He said, "No, I'm not going to go." But of course, the government is saying he has to, so this can get him in big trouble. But、mm-hmm. he decided to do what he thought was right, even though he could get in trouble. It says, "But Ali refused and said that killing others went against his beliefs." He was、mm-hmm. a he was a devout Muslim at this time. He was a religious man,、mm-hmm. and he also felt that Vietnamese people had never done anything bad to him. Why should he go over there and kill them? He's、mm-hmm. had bad things done to him by white people in America, and now these same sorts of people want him to go and kill people in Vietnam. He thought、mm-hmm. that's completely unfair and silly, and I don't want to do that.、Mm-hmm. So it went against his beliefs in many different ways. To go against something or somebody is to basically to disagree. Agree with them, to、mm. oppose them, to say no when they tell you to do something. If you feel that it's unfair or illegal or wrong, or you just don't want to do it, you go against someone's requests or their orders or something like that. In some、mm. cases, it can get you in trouble if it is a law you're going against. But if you believe it's the right thing to do, well, then you have to take a stand, I suppose. You do, you do. Now there is there was a bit of a problem with this. It was against the law to、mm. refuse to. Joined the army, so Ali's boxing license was taken away. He couldn't yes, fight anymore. Yes, at the time we called it, well, at least in America they called it the draft. When、mm-hmm. you got called into the draft, that meant that you had to go and fight. So it was against the law to fight to say no to fighting in wars, and well, a law—that's our first vocab word—is a noun, and it's the rules or a rule that a country or region or city has, the kind of rules that keep people safe and say how things should go to make everything fair. We can talk about things being against the law when they are illegal or not allowed. So we could say that it was illegal to say no to the U.S. government. No, I'm not going to fight. That was illegal. If it was okay, as it is now, if the U.S. government says, "Hey, do you want to go fight in this foreign country?" and you say no, well, then that's legal now. You don't have to go and fight in a war. The law has changed. We could also say that the government amended the law,、mm-hmm. or that they repealed the law. When you amend a law, you change it. When you repeal a law, you take it away, so it's not there anymore. So. Let's look at an example sentence for law now. Davy broke the law when he drove through the red light. Okay, so what happened to Muhammad Ali when he lost his boxing license? Well, the article says he couldn't box for three years, but he did speak out against the war across the U.S. Okay, and we have that phrase "speak out" here as well. When we speak out against something or we speak out about something, we publicly express our feelings about that thing. We say what we think about it so that more people know. 
We can use this to say that we are supporting something or that we are against it. As we saw in the article, he spoke out against the war. When we speak out against, we mean we. Are saying that that thing is wrong or it's unfair. If we speak out in favor of it, however, we want everybody to know that we think the thing is okay. So Muhammad Ali, he was speaking out against the war. So Mike, what did people think about his decision? Well, of course,、mm-hmm. it was you know a big news story. A lot of people, some people thought that he was being a traitor for not fighting for his country. But many people at that time, and more and more as time went on, sort of started to agree with him and say,、mm-hmm. you know, this war is wrong. Why are we fighting there? You know, not go and fight in this war they didn't agree with. So many people, we read, many people supported. Ali's decision. So many people agreed with him,、mm-hmm. and he became a hero of the anti-war and civil rights movements.、Mm-hmm. All right. So there you go. So a lot of people agreed with it. A lot of people also felt that it was very unfair that the government took away or the boxing people took away his right to fight. They took away his right to make a to make money for himself, to have a、mm-hmm. job as a boxer. And、yes. they also felt that was doubly unfair.、Mm-hmm. And he also became a hero of the anti-war. And civil rights movement.、So、he was a hero of these movements. Movements, remember, is Yun Dong. It is a, an organized effort by lots of people to change something. So、mm-hmm. we just saw how there were movements at the time against the Vietnam War, the anti-war movement, or the against the war. We could. It sounds less. Nice that way, but、mm-hmm. that's what anti means. It means against、right. something. So anti-war is against war, and civil rights is just、uh, the rights that everybody has within a country. And specifically for this movement, it was to do with the rights of black people during the 1950s and the 1960s, and the、Absolutely. changes they were trying to bring. Okay. And some of those、mm-hmm. changes started to come around, and then、They、we、did. read things did change in 1970. So three years after this big controversy started, Ali was allowed to box again, and、mm-hmm. soon proved he was still the greatest. So enough、uh, people in the public were upset and felt he was being treated badly. The boxing people, the people who organized the sport, gave him his license back. Said, "Okay, you can box again." It should be pointed out that boxing wasn't making much money. Anymore、mm. because Muhammad Ali wasn't fighting, so they thought, "Hey, let's、yes. get him back in the ring and make some money and get people interested in our sport、mm-hmm. again." And he did. He went back to the ring. He continued to fight. He proved he was still the greatest. To prove is basically to show that something is true. Okay,、mm-hmm. you're not just saying it's true. You're showing through facts, through evidence, through your actions that it is true. It's not just、mm-hmm. words. It is fact. It is the real. The real. Situation. For example, the police. The police found some fingerprints that proved the man was guilty. They didn't just say, "Oh, someone saw him do it." No, that's not enough. Often, you need to find some kind of proof. That would be the noun form, right?、Mm. Proof. Proves that something is true. In this case, the fingerprints on the money or the diamonds or whatever show、mm-hmm. that it's these. This man's fingerprints. This shows that he stole the diamonds.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so next we read that he went on. Muhammad Ali went on to go from historic feat to historic feat. He won historic fights like the Rumble in the Jungle against George Foreman, and the Thriller in Manila against Joe Frazier. I've heard of Rumble in the Jungle,、mm. but do you know about Thriller in Manila, Mike? Well, that was a、mm-hmm. fight in the Philippines.、Um, mm, it sounds was, like it. Manila、yeah. is the capital against, city. Against against Joe Frazier, these、mm-hmm. were two big fights, and the first kind of t- time that some big fights like this were being held outside of America.、Mm. Um, at the time, I believe the Rumble in the Jungle was in Kinshasa, I believe,、oh. um, when it was getting its independence. So this is a big thing for people in Africa to have these world champ. And all the American media、mm. go there, so that was a big success. If you want, actually want to see a really good film, there's a film called When We Were Kings. It's、mm. a documentary. It's a true film about Muhammad Ali 
and George Foreman fighting in that fight. It's a very very good film.、Yes. Came out about ten years ago, and then、mm-hmm. they did a sort of a part two, another one where they went off to the Philippines and had another big fight、um, in you know in a part of the world where they don't normally get this kind of event,、mm-hmm. especially back in the 1970s. The Rumble in the Jungle, yeah, it was in Africa, so that's why it was called the Rumble in the in, Jungle. In the Jungle, and it、right. sounds good too. Yes, Rumble, so Jungle, Rumble in the Jungle. It does sound very good. Well, Jungle, by the way, is a huge tropical forest that you can find in some hot countries. So, if you have ever been to Thailand or Indonesia, you'll probably have seen jungles—those big, big forests with very tall trees and full of thousands of plants. If we see a very, very big jungle, we can probably call it a rainforest. So, the Amazon rainforest, for example, is a huge rainforest that is in Brazil. Okay, let's look at an example sentence for jungle. It took us three hours to travel just one kilometer through the thick jungle. Right, that's because often traveling through jungles is very difficult because there are so many trees. You can't just drive down the road. There's nothing like that there for you. Okay, but it seems that、um, not everything was going so well for Muhammad Ali. That's、Monday. right. His、mm. health started to catch up with him. He、mm. fought all through the nineteen, through most of the nineteen sixties, and all through the nineteen seventies, and it was quite clear that he wasn't the fighter that he once was. I mean. People have guessed or estimated that he was punched about two hundred thousand times. Wow! So you can imagine getting hit、mm. in the body and mostly probably in the head two hundred thousand times. Yeah, that's going to do something not so good to your body, to your brain, especially. And as you're right,、mm. exactly. And as we read on, it says, "But Ali took so many punches that his health suffered, and he had to stop boxing in 1981."、Mm-hmm. Uh, a punch is basically when you hit someone with your cl- Closed hand. Your closed、mm-hmm. hand is your fist. So you kind of wrap your fingers up tight, put your thumb over them, and that is your fist. And then you punch someone with it. It hurts a lot if you do it. It hurts a lot if you get hit with a punch. So don't punch people.、Mm. If you do, maybe wear a glove and do it in a boxing ring. Yes. Don't do it in other places. I think boxing is the only time it's okay to punch it's, someone in the head. Yeah, unless you're being attacked by a shark, you might punch the shark or something yes, like that. Yes. Punch it in the nose. But、generally, <laughs> yes. Keep it to the boxing ring, and also、mm-hmm. be careful because punching—you can break your hand quite easily if、mm-hmm. you don't、uh, have some training and proper equipment. But、mm-hmm. boxers do it, so let's talk about it in this in this、uh, in this sense. We have an example sentence here: The boxer took a punch to the face, and soon his nose was bleeding.、Mm. Well, yeah, that's what happens when you punch people, even in boxing. Yes. So we learn more about the problems with.、Um, Muhammad Ali's、um, physical condition.、Mm. He learned in 1984 that he had Parkinson's, Parkinson's disease,、yeah. and this is a disease of the nervous system that makes the muscles become stiff and the body shake, and gradually gets worse as a person gets older. I don't think there is any cure for Parkinson's disease, is there?、It's, Not right now. You can slow it down.、Yeah. You can make it progress more slowly. But in 1984. Medicine wasn't what it is today, and so getting Parkinson's disease—I mean, it's a very sad thing to hear because probably that only means your physical condition is going to get worse. But that didn't stop、uh, Muhammad Ali, did it? No. We see in his later life, Ali focused on helping others. He focused on helping others. What does focus mean?、Uh, when you focus on something, you basically bring a lot of attention to something, or put a lot of attention on something. If you're studying, you don't want to sit there playing phone games and listening to music and、mm. chatting online. I no, I certainly do. You need to focus, though, Seb. You need to focus、mm. on your work. And in the same way, different groups, like charities, might focus on something. Greenpeace. Focuses on helping animals in the ecology.、Hmm. Amnesty International focuses on human rights around the world. Yes, it seems that he managed to raise a lot of money、mm. to give to some very good causes. The article says he gave millions of U.S. dollars to organizations fighting hunger and disease. Right, we've got a lot to look at in this sentence. Let's first look at the word hunger. Hunger is a noun, and we use hunger to mean two things: 
First, it can mean that feeling of wanting to eat something when you haven't eaten for a long time. I'm, I'm hungry. I'm feeling hunger right now. Yes, I'm feeling hungry right now. Mm-hmm. It's the noun form of hungry. In other words, when we're hungry. Mm-hmm. Uh, second, it can mean. It can mean the much bigger problem.、Mm-hmm. It can mean the much bigger problem that lots of people still face around the world when they don't have a, enough food to eat all the time. So, when we're talking about hunger in this way, we might be talking about world hunger. That's the problem of people not having enough food around the world, and that's what Muhammad Ali was helping address. So here's an example sentence: Even in rich countries, many people still face hunger each day. Right.、Mm-hmm. And there, we're not talking about、mm-hmm. people who need a snack. We're talking about people who don't have enough food people, to be healthy,、mm, or people who are starving. Yeah. All right. We've also got our grammar pattern here. He gave millions of U.S. dollars to organizations fighting hunger and disease. Okay, so nice bit of grammar here that will help you make more complex, more interesting sentences. Muhammad Ali gave millions of U.S. dollars to organizations fighting hunger and disease. Who was fighting hunger and disease? We can tell that it was the organizations. Why? Because we have an ing restrictive clause here. Until now, you've made restrictive clauses by adding the words、uh, that or a question word like who or which, and then a verb and a subject, like this、um, this example sentence, for example. Muhammad Ali gave millions of U.S. dollars to organizations that fought hunger and disease. That would be an easier way of、mm-hmm. expressing that sentence. But now that you've got a better level of English, you can make this sentence shorter by still using the se- but still using the same idea. We can remove the that from the sentence I just said if we change the past tense verb fought to an ing verb fighting. And this would be the same if the sentence was in the present tense. So let's look at an easier, shorter sentence just to practice this.、Mm-hmm. This hospital treats children who suffer from cancer. As with the previous sentence, we can remove the who here. That's our question word, and change suffer to suffering, and then we get our new, slightly shorter sentence. This hospital treats children suffering from cancer. Okay, so that is basically how we can create a short ing restrictive clause, and it looks like we are at the end of our article. We just have this last very sad sentence to end. Yes,、mm-hmm. after many years of raising money, he was not a well man, but he was still in public. I remember、mm. he lit the Olympic torch at the 1996 Olympic Games in Atlanta,、mm-hmm. I believe. So you know he was still out there、um, doing things in the public eye. But finally, it says Ali passed away. In 2016, but he's still called the greatest because of his amazing life and career. So、mm-hmm. yes, he did sadly die. He passed away. That's a polite way of saying to die.、Mm-hmm. Um, we often use that for people as a as a way of showing respect and、mm-hmm. kindness when talking about something terrible and sad like dying. We say they passed away or they passed on. You might、yeah. also say. Um, but he did die in, in 2016. But as we said, as we're learning today and yesterday, his legacy, his life story, lives on. He's still the greatest. There's still lots of great books and films and other things you can watch and learn about Muhammad Ali because he it really is one of the most interesting lives of the、mm-hmm. last hundred or so years. He is. All right. Well, we've just got just enough time to look at a for you chat question now. So let's check that out now. Okay, we've got a tricky moral question for、mm. you today. So, really, a good one for you to get you guys thinking. Do you think there are times when people have to break the law in order to do the right thing?、Hmm. Explain your thoughts. Interesting. Okay, I know we certainly shouldn't break the law all the time. No. Laws are there to be followed. To、you、be respected. You have to be careful. That's but- right. You know, laws don't reflect everything that happens, and、sure. sometimes we do need to do things a little bit differently. So, Michael, I think you have a 
an answer to that, right? Well, I mean, of、mm -hmm. course, we were talking about Muhammad Ali breaking the law by refusing to go and fight a war. Now that was, you know, he was breaking a law for a political reason. He thought it was wrong, and you know, yes, a lot of good change in the world has come because people decided to break the law because the law was wrong and unfair and was hurting people when it shouldn't. So there、mm -hmm. are those situations, and we can、uh, think about those and talk about those and certainly read about them in the news almost every day. But then there are the other. Times when it's much clearer, like、uh, you know, if if you saw that、uh, a building was on fire, it was nighttime, and someone was inside, trapped inside the building, you would have to break the law, right? You'd have to break、mm -hmm. open the door or smash the window, and the alarms would go off. But you're breaking the law in order to save someone's life, or、mm -hmm. or if you saw, you know, a dog locked in a car on a very hot day, or right, a baby a locked in a car、they、on a very、die. hot day, they could die. You can't just stand there. I can't. Break the window of that car because that's you know that's breaking into the car. That's against the law. So in that case, you know you would have to if there's someone drowning in an area of the beach where it says you can't swim here. Well,、mm -hmm. of course you can't just stand there and obey the law and watch a person die or get hurt. So、mm -hmm. you know in those situations, I think it would be quite clear that it's the right thing to do to break、mm -hmm. the law because someone's life is at risk. Exactly. Exactly. Well, I'm sure you guys have some. Other examples that you want to share, so we'll let you get ahead with that, and we will join you a little later on in the month to look at another interesting article that we have ready for you. So, for English for you, I'm Seb, and I'm Mike, and we'll see you then. Bye Take bye. Take care. The greatest, the story of Muhammad Ali. Ali's greatest fight didn't happen in the ring at all. In 1967. He was called to join the army and fight in the Vietnam War, but Ali refused and said that killing others went against his beliefs. It was against the law to refuse to join the army, so Ali's boxing license was taken away. He couldn't box for three years, but he did speak out against the war across the U.S. Many people supported Ali's decision. And he became a hero of the anti-war and civil rights movements. In 1970, Ali was allowed to box again, and soon proved he was still the greatest. He won historic fights like the Rumble in the Jungle against George Foreman and the Thrilla in Manila against Joe Frazier. But Ali took so many punches that his health suffered, and he had to stop boxing in 1981. He learned in 1984 that he had Parkinson's disease. In his later life, Ali focused on helping others. He gave millions of U.S. dollars to organizations fighting hunger and disease. Ali passed away in 2016, but he's still called the greatest because of his amazing life and career. Vocabulary review. Law. You must follow the laws of your country, or you will get in trouble. Prove. In court, you must prove you did not do a crime, so you won't be punished. Jungle. If you live near a jungle, you must watch out for snakes and spiders. Punch. Andrew took a punch when his classmate got angry at his mean jokes. Focus. At the basketball game, I only focused on my son, who actually scored some points in that game. Hunger. Mary and Jane are trying to stop the hunger of many homeless people. 智慧小补帖 License, anti-war, civil rights, Parkinson's disease. The show program is by Huayong Cultural Media Group. Huayong Cultural Media Group is published by all major bookstores around the world. If you would like to purchase books, please call 02 2364 4000 or call 02 2364 4000. 
零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询，网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。